Hello and welcome back to Avatar 4, Quest of the Avatar, where we are here at the Shrine of Sacrifice to get our elevation game on. Um, this is where we left off. And then we're going to do something totally different, something we've never done before. We're going to do an experiment. We're going to see if I read something on the internet and it could be true. But first, let's get uh, our sixth uh piece of the avatar hood pie so we are going to enter we are here for sacrifice sacrifice for one cycle and i better get the mantra at my fingertips so the room for the mantra for sacrifice is ka c a h so we will do our thing here C-A-H. Thy thoughts are pure, there are granted a vision. Give thy last gold piece unto the needy, shows good measure of self-sacrifice. Okay, so that's number one dusted. So first of all, let's hold up in camp. I think I forgot to do that last episode. And just to top off everybody's health, I, I think most people are in pretty good shape. But if we can, oops, we've got, I forget what these things are, uh, but they're somebody we can kill. I do know that. Up, oh, double ups. I don't know if these range people are gonna really get much of a chance. Katrina, this might be you. I'm just going to leave her be because I really don't want her necessarily to get super close. Whatever it was she missed. All right. I forget, are these slimes? What are these things? I don't even recall what these are. As soon as somebody can manage to land a blow on this bad boy. I'm keeping an eye on Katrina's health. Uh, because I definitely don't want her to uh, die on me. But she's in good shape. Um, really, Dupree's the lowest right now for health. It was a slime. All right. And we, get, we did not get cold. Let's try to hold up in camp again and get some rest this time, maybe. That would be very nice. That would be very, very nice indeed. We're doing okay on food. We're at 421. All right, we're healed. Dupree still doesn't full up, but he's got to be pretty close. So, all right, good. Let's um, let's just kind of roam a little bit. There's Vesper. All right, I don't think there's anything we need in Vesper. We definitely don't want to get into the Death Marsh. Let's see if enough time has passed. Uh, sacrifice for two cycles. Yes, enough time has passed. Good. You can never really be sure. You can never really be sure. Well, I can't be sure. I've never really figured out how many. Is it turn based or is that? It's probably actually you got to be X number of turns, but I've never really looked into how long that is. So, Ka again. And then we do another series of meditations, sitting by ourselves on this little island, watching the uh, dragonflies skim over the water. Maybe a fish jumps up and tries to have it for lunch. And we are granted a vision. For thee to flee and leave thy companions is a self-serving action to be avoided. Well, that's interesting. So if I was fleeing, if I was fleeing the battle before my companions. Maybe that's why I lost Sacrifice that one time. Because if I remember correctly, wow, it's been a long time. I lost Sacrifice because we fled from this sea serpent in a town. I think in like Buccaneer's Den or something like that. Because I didn't feel like fighting him, but I didn't realize that was going to cost me a slice of my avatar hood. So, but I'm pretty sure I didn't leave the, I'm pretty sure I didn't leave the field of action first, but maybe still that might be why, because I, I didn't understand why that affected sacrifice. But now I guess maybe I understand a little bit better. 
All right, Ooh, some skellies. Well, let's see if we can get Mr. Skelly. Oh, we got a couple things here. All right, look at this. Oh boy, we got a lot of guys. All right, line up, boyos. <laughs> Yo, we'll get some. We'll get some nice gold out of this, and hopefully, we can kill these guys before they can take our gold. Uh, that's kind of the main thing. So I'm not necessarily going to be worrying about getting right in their faces because proximity really isn't a great thing with these guys. But uh, rather if we can, if our range people can really get rid of them from a distance, that would be ideal. We got one gone already. Uh, okay. I meant to move him up. All right, two gone. I'm actually going to move them back. Heavily wounded already. Iolo, we need you to hit things. Same goes for you, Katrina. We want to get out here with all our gold. He's fleeing. That's good news. Help us, Katrina Wan Kenobi. Uh, all right, I can come out here so I can get a line him now. He, well, he was fleeing before, so that's not news. He's taking a rather long time to flee, I must say. There we go. <laughs> this feels like taking candy from a baby one little skelly you poor thing you don't know what you wandered into I almost feel sorry for you almost almost well this will help our coffers a little bit wow okay one shot Nelly there oh I was standing on a chest all right so now we've got more and I think in the interest of protecting our gold, I'm going to use, in hopes of getting some one shots. Wow, really? I was hoping that, that uh, I was going to be able to one shot him with a fireball. That was not the case. Let's try it again. Dang, this guy must have worn his magic resistant shoes today or something. <sighs> Come on, still lightly wounded. Lightly wounded. That guy's fleeing. Oh, now he's dead. All right, took two fireballs and two stones to get him taken care of. Gone. Beautiful. I really want to limit the amount of contact they have with us, which sucks for my melee peeps, but you know, it is what it is. Um, That guy's fleeing already. All right, another one down. Oh, he's fleeing. He is fleeing. All right, so let's... I don't know what your point was there, dude. All right, took that care, took care of that guy. Julia, come on, that's probably like your one shot at this dude since he's fleeing. All right, so... 63 acid trap but we evaded it by we i mean mean 20 gold beautiful so yeah we're almost to 40 gold let's uh see if we can get this done sacrifice for three cycles this would be the last the last one we have to do here All right, Ka. Yeah, 
and again. All right, all right, all right. Hopefully we can not lose any of these again. I'm hoping that this is the last time we ever have to come here and do this for um, spirituality or sacrifice. Ka. We've received partial avatar hood. Beautiful. We've granted a vision. And um, yeah, this is the same vision. I figured it probably would be. If we switch to my notes here, you can see there is the vision. I, I'm keeping track of all of these. Now, I don't know what they mean, but you will notice that some of these, you know, we got compassion and sacrifice that share and honor and justice share the same the same thing there. And then um, humility and spirituality have totally different things. So we have two more to get. If we go up to Aquaman here, so now we can go elevated. Elevated, and I'll get rid of that. You're supposed to turn it green. You're not supposed to do that. <laughs> Let's be that green. There we go. Okay. So we've got that marked. And then if we go back to the game, we can now see that we've got the line all the way up to the chest piece, to the cross piece, and beyond. So I don't, uh, I'm looking, let me go back to my notes here. I'm looking down at this thing and I don't, I don't have this right. I don't have this right. So, so we've got above these, above the two dots there on the mini onk. That's got to be the top one, which is probably going to be honesty. And then we've got the two, two little dashes. That's compassion. And then there's another blank space. That's going to be valor. And then we've got justice, and then we got sacrifice. So sacrifice is the long bar, I believe. Justice is the smaller bar on top of the long bar. And then I'm guessing that when we get valor, which is going to be in between the bottom and, and those two two slashes, that's probably going to be another set of two slashes, if I had to guess. We'll see when we get it. We'll see when we get it. But there we go. There we go. So this is how I think it looks now, as far as how this is going to look. And um, not that it matters, but just I just want to identify the pieces, so that way, like I say, if we lose one in the future... We know uh, we know what's what. All right, back to the game. So we're granted a vision. We got our vision. We're back out. Beautiful. Okay, so I want to try something new today. Let's actually bring up the map. So we are here at the Shrine of Sacrifice, which if you look at the map, if I look at the map, you'll see it's kind of over there north of Vesper. We see where we are. And then over where I've got Shrine of Compassion, that's south of Lock Lake. And that's where we're heading because I did some reading because I wanted to find this town by Lock Lake. There's a lot of things we need to find in Lock Lake. Um, and because we need to find, we've got some things here, I think. There's some place we need to go. Oh, so the the candle of love is found in a secret place off of Lock Lake. So we've got that to deal with. Um, ba -ba -ba. There is something else. Yada yada yada. Boy, I don't remember what it was. Lock Lake. Okay, there we go. I I gave it its own page. I'm so organized, I can't even remember what I've done. So we're supposed to be able to hopefully find that. Um, a word of passage is needed the last gate. Um, so we got to see his brother beyond Lock Lake. So maybe he's at this town. And then uh, to get to the gate travel spell, 
reachable only by ship. And that's the tricky bit because we've been all around this thing and there hasn't been a way to reach us by ship that we've been able to see. But once, like I said, um, I think there's a way to do it that I read about. So if we look at the map here, we're going to get back in our ship which is over south of Vesper, and we're going to get down here to the area there where I've got the Shrine of Compassion thing uh, at, and we're going to look for the entry point into this hidden village, uh, which uh, I believe is called Cove. But before we get out of here, let's hold up and camp again. We did enough battle before that last thing. We probably should have uh, enough to get a little bit more, a little bit more health there we go. Excellent. We are full on. Okay. I, I can't, you know, we, we've been, we've been blithely crossing that bridge without anybody uh, challenging us. And I'm, I've been thinking it's, we're probably due for some trolls here to go, yeah, who crosses my bridge? But just one. So I'm okay with that. He's barely wounded. I'm going to keep Iolo and, and what's her face, Katrina back. I'm going to bring up some of my melee peeps because there's no reason why we can't get close to this guy. But I should bring Iolo up to help. He's heavily wounded now. I don't think all of our melee peeps are going to be able to get around this guy and help play wacky wacky oh especially when we do that kind of thing looks like we got some cyclops we got to deal with before we get out of here and a zorn all right all right all the locals coming out to play and of course we miss I'm just gonna kind of stay where I am. And then I'm thinking what I will do is if they, if they line up against all the melee peeps, I can kind of step forward and then, you know, go side to side and, uh, and attack people that way. But if I step forward, I think they'll, they'll kind of home in on me. And when somebody does that, I can, I can attack them, so. We'll get our wall of death going here. And we got our two range peeps in the back. And uh, I still don't appreciate your diagonal attacks. But we are six eighths avatar now. So, you know, we're that much better than you. And we're gonna prove it with the steel of our blades and the shininess of our rocks as they bounce off your foreheads. <laughs> All right. Okay, he's got that guy heavily wounded. That's good. That's good. So this is what I was thinking of. I could then just help out in whichever direction I need to, which I think is good. So now everybody's getting a little, getting a little action, which is, you know, as, as leader of the group, that's kind of what I am charged to do to make sure everybody's getting an equal share of the battle time. So we don't have arguments over the campfire about, you know, so-and-so gets more shots than I do and start getting XP envy and all of that nonsense that just makes exploring such a pain in the buttocks. All right, and then there was one. All right, Katrina, do your Katrina thing. Lightly wounded. Uh, Dupree, I think you're just gonna have to sit the rest of this one out because by the time we get you over there, this guy's gonna be fleeing or he's just gonna be gone. Now that he's heavily wounded. All 
And now he's fleeing. And now he's dead. Oh, I thought I had chest I was standing on. All right, 20 gold. This has been kind of a nice, nice area just for getting some gold. All right, so uh, let's look at the map again. I forgot to look at coordinates. So the coordinates, whoops, that's not the map. The coordinates we want, we want to get down to like G and G and I. G and I, and we should be right now at D and M, I believe. So let's locate our position. E and M. So what did I say? G and I. So we need to go south. Whoops, first, we should board our ship. We go south a bit and east a bit. We could probably just kind of hug the shore a little bit here. Just keep it in sight. That's the easiest thing to do. And the way to get into Lock Lake and thereby get to this get to this hidden village is uh, what you might call inadvisable. It's not something most people would think is a good idea to do. Um, but I'm told it's the way. This is the way. And um, we've got to do it. All right, where are we? No, that's not what I want to do. Locate. We are at G&I. All right, so we are right about where we want to be. Just about. Now we need to find the thing. So where am I now? Let me look at the map again. Map, 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 map. Yeah, I think we're kind of going up. We may have even gone a little bit too far. Yeah, we're a little bit too far, but... Oh, okay, well, maybe in the meantime, let's do some fighting. All right, I think you're stuck. I think, I think, I think I should have moved over. All right, you're stuck. You're stuck. Dupree, this is your big shot, dude. Quit stealing our gold. All right. Um, I don't really understand how you're stealing our gold. I mean, I guess they were up against Shamino there. But it's just it's just rude, you know. Try to kill us honestly and then try to take our gold from our our dead rotting bodies, but don't take our gold while we're still alive because whoops. Because that's just rude. That's just rude. All right, kill us first, do your work first. And then if you can't do your work because we kill you dead, which is what's gonna happen, you know, then sucks to be you, you don't get no gold. You know, don't squirrel your, oops, there's nobody there. Don't squirrel your gold away so that uh, no one else can get it. All right. Cause I don't know what they do with their gold. I don't know if they like stealing our gold again, dude. You're killing me. Uh, I, I, yeah, I just don't understand it. I just, uh, I, 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 yeah, I got Baba. He's, you're killing me. You're just killing me, dude. With the stealing, and because we're at sea, we won't get any gold out of this guy. <laughs> we will get a ship. All right, so maybe what we ought to do, let's, we're in a good position to be able to keep this ship. So let's do this. We'll do our little exit board. Okay. Exit locate. All right, so let's go here. 
I'm going to insert below extra ship and then the latitude and longitude that I got there was G A and H F okay so we got a lot of extra ships that'll come in very handy um, that'll come in very handy as we'll see here in a minute hopefully hopefully all right let's switch back to the game and we're gonna get on the outer ship And what we're looking for, oh, lava, I hate you guys. What I'm looking for is a whirlpool. I'm not even sure where that guy was at. He was there in the mountains someplace. Because we're right where we want to be, pretty much. Like here, I think, is right about where we really want to be. Because like this is this leads us up into there. There's supposed to be a whirlpool. Ah, squiddies! Dang it, squiddies! I wasn't looking for you. And the whirlpool is your your entrance. And uh, so I was trying. To, I, I remember we were someplace where there was a whirlpool that was dancing around us. And I thought it was when we were along the coast there, but I am not seeing it now, of course. All right, we gotta take the time to kill these squiddies. The good news is, is that they are not gonna steal our gold or our food. They're just going to take a little bit of health, which we're doing okay on. I have no complaints there. All right, we got that guy's fleeing. All right, one down. All right, you could do nothing. Fight! Fight! That guy is fleeing. Heavily wounded. Ooh, one down. Beautiful. Miss, miss, miss. Yes, of course. Miss. Lightly wounded. Yeah, I think that's Squiddy's. I don't know if he's like going for better position on somebody, but I'm not quite sure where he's going. Maybe he's coming over to engage Dupree. But he looks like he's fleeing. And I wonder about the squiddy at the top, too. All right, that one's dead. So we are down to two squiddies, and that's it. All right, I'm going to come over there. I'll come over here. Okay, okay beautiful. They both fled. All right. So let's just kind of, I just want to sail around here a little bit. You know, when I don't want to find a whirlpool, then they're all over the single place. But now that I'm looking for a whirlpool, you know, my worst case scenario is we're out of ship and um, we're dead and we wake up in Lord British's castle. But from what I'm reading, that's not too likely to be the case. All right, let's just kind of sail a boot here. Go south a bit, go east a bit, kind of do a little patrol pattern here. <sighs> and I'm not going to do this for too long before I'm going to get going to get bored with it, and we're going to move on. All right, where are we at now? Oh God, more squids.
All right. It's not that I'm scared of these guys or anything. We can handle them pretty easily, but it's just the tedium <laughs> of dealing with them. They're not as bad as Nixies, but they're actually a lot stronger opponent than Nixies, but. And I think, yeah, they do a bit more damage. All right, you go up. Man, they're uh, all over Julia today. Oh, good job, Dupree. All right, Katrina, do your thing that doesn't include missing. All right, that guy's fleeing. All right, solid hit. I'm gonna back up Julia, I guess. Oh, just keeping limber. Good job, Julia. It's always good to keep, uh, you know, keep stretched. That's important. That's important. Oh my, 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 aren't we all tacky tacky today? All right, that one's down. Another one down. That serpent's critical, but it kind of looks like he might be fleeing. All right, a little squiddy gone. Okay. Okay, that guy fled. I probably didn't want to do that. Now he's fleeing. Okay, so that guy fled. So my melee people are done, unless this guy manages to uh, engage with one of them, like I think it's Shamino over there. He seems to be fixated on Iolo right now though. All right. We're going to continue west a little bit. We're at G and J. G and J, where the blazes is that? G and J. Oh, we're way, we're way off. All right, let's go over west a bit more. Let's come north to find land again. Kind of want to stay close to land. Slow progress here, so the wind's not being our friend. All right, I think we're close to where that lava lizard was doing his thing. And I don't really want to give him the opportunity to, yeah, he was like right over there, I think, just north of us. There's our extra ship. Yep, all right, let's, I'm not finding this whirlpool. We'll keep that in mind. Next time we come, come across whirlpool, we're going to do the very dangerous thing of just Driving right into that bad boy. Oh, he's out of range. <laughs> Too bad. I thought I had a ship here. All right, let's 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 back this truck up here. Let's. I just want to exit the ship in case these uh, orcs come at us, and let's switch over to the notes. So I said I have an extra ship in Yalom. I have an extra ship at the Minoc Moongate. I am not certain that that is accurate. Um, and then I got an extra ship at you. And then I got an extra ship. That's the one we just found. But then we got this ship here. So if we go back to the game. And we locate. All right, let's go back to our notes. I think I didn't, I think I didn't, uh, extra ship, Lord British. I think I didn't uh, mark this one down last time. So that's going to be G, N, and F, H. 
Okay, so I've got one, two, three, four, five extra ships. I'll take it. I will take it. Okay, so let's um, let's take care of our little orky friends here and get some more gold. Why not? And uh, we're just going to kind of wade in. Everybody up. And we're going to do some stabby stabby and throwy throwy and whatever we need to do here and get these guys cleaned out like the menace that they are. And I think I'm just, I'm going to let my peeps handle um, the orcs. And I'm going to take, a, I'm going to go up here and I'm going to take out Mr. Troll. Which, if I remember, he's supposed to be throwing axes, I think. I think that's supposed to be an axe in his hand. He's already heavily wounded. All right. All right. Everybody's got an orc. Except for you, Dupree. But now you have an orc. He's heavily wounded. He's gone. Gone. Yeah, this is... Uh, ooh, okay, he's gone. Beautiful. All right, you're toast, dude. <laughs> You've got nowhere to go. And you're going to have six of us. 17 gold. Oh, boy. All right. Let's go see Hawkwind and see. Let's see how we're doing on our last two. Now, I don't think we've probably done much with honesty because we haven't done any buying and selling of things or whatnot. We haven't been to buy any... But Valor, we might well be ready. Okay, of course I'm sleeping, so I gotta wait to wake up. You know, you wouldn't have this problem, Hawkwind, if you didn't have sleeping force fields. Just, just saying. All right. Uh, all right, we'll go with honesty. Does seem to be an honest soul, so that's where I was. So no change there. All right. Uh, Valor. Thou art showing Valor. Okay. Ugh. That's where I was too. I was kind of hoping maybe I might be ready to elevate there. But apparently not. Apparently not. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's, that's kind of sad. Oh, stop that. All right. Well, I think uh, we're at we're at a decent time here. I think I'm going to call this an episode, and we will end it here, and uh, we'll come back and figure out what we're going to do next. But uh, thank you for watching and joining me on this adventure. Maybe next time, maybe we'll bump into a whirlpool. That would be awesome. And then maybe we can go explore Cove, which I think is the last of of the named places. Uh, you know, that's the last village that, um, that I'm aware of. Uh, no, I suppose there could be something hidden anywhere, but I, I, I mean, of the places we've heard hints and rumors of, this is the last one and we've got a bunch of stuff there. And then we need to do some serious dungeon splunking because we got to grab stones, but I kind of feel like we're getting closer to the end game of this. So that's, that's awesome. But thank you for joining me. I do hope you come back, uh, for the next one. And until then, be seeing you.